I agree. This is in no way caused by old and leaky outflow pipes that the landlord of this property should have replaced years ago. Good point, sir. And Grover, I'm delegating this to you, since you're our something. Lawyer. Right. And cousin. Ugh. Anyway, the city will take care of this. Probably done soonish. Oh, <clears throat> should have been me. Oh, well, that would have been funny. Ha, true. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I agree with Felix. <laughs> ah, Grover, nice of you to join us. <clears throat> Someday. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better at it. Oh, kids. So great you have kids here. Hi, kids. <laughs> Sinkhole kids. Hey, um, lawyer guy, you got a second for some quick legal advice? Oh. <laughs> sure you do. We're just gonna chat about a lawsuit I'm in. Look, why don't I give you my card and you can roll? Felix killed Cotton Candy Dan. He's framing his brother. What? No, no. <laughs> yes, we overheard him planning to leave the country. Well, that part's true. They're both planning to leave the country. That's why they're here. That's why I'm here. They made me bring them books on tape. They're mostly coloring books on tape. I don't even know how that works. Look, I don't know what the deal is with Felix, but you can't let them leave the country. Mr. Fishholder's innocent. But he said he's afraid he can't beat the charge. That's why they're fleeing to Cuba in their submarine. We're talking about your submarine, which as your attorney and your cousin, I advise you not to use. If you do decide to stay, we should start talking about your legal strategy. Boring. And your arraignment. boring -er. no, 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 no. Why are you looking at me like that? Like I farted. The other one's being jerky. What are you, what are you holding? Now you're gagging. Let me see. Bennett. <laughs> what the? Is that a, a tooth? It's so weird looking and... <sighs> I see. And you enjoy that, do you? Nobody move. <clears throat> Nobody move. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get all your phones. Come on. Oh, really? A teen girl without a phone? Yeah, we don't need to get into it. Bye, phones. So, you were looking at the picture and you saw my banana cufflink, which I bought for myself when I graduated law school because no one else got me a present. I knew he bit me, but I didn't know he swallowed the damn thing. And you have that weird tooth for some reason and it matches my scar and now everyone thinks I murdered him just because I did. No, we're all gonna stay right here where no one's gonna come looking for you. Shush, shush, shush! I'm so annoyed. How did you find us? How did you even get in here? Uh, bikes! Nope, no cheering. Everybody uh, hush! Don't make a sound. Okay, good question. I'll allow it. Look, I'm not bad. Even though I'm not a bad person. So I killed one Connie. Well, it's just because I'm determined to finally get what I think that I'm deserving and to turn it into something worthy. Trust me, I'm sure you will. in the Fishholder Family Trust because I'm in the family. Shut it! Shut your front door! So, in this family trust, you see, you are ineligible to receive benefits if you've been convicted of a felony. And every single one of them has been. All except for Cousin Calvin because he never got caught. Shush! So I frame him and boom! Now if something unfortunate happens to Calvin and Felix, whom will they suspect? Not me. No, 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 why would they? Uh, yes, surprise. Yeah, sorry, you were so insistent about going with your brother to Cuba. Yes, we know. But let's just say your submarine isn't going to go to Cuba. It won't make it out from under the pier. I didn't bury him in front of your restaurant and I didn't want to wait six years. Six years? Yes. I had it all worked out. A top rate murder. I shoot Mr. Carney with Calvin's gun. I stick him in a pile of dirt or whatever yucky stuff was near the entrance to the wharf. I leave the stupid foot sticking out so someone would be sure to see it. But little did I know that some numbskull backhoe operator working for the city was going to scoop up that pile without even checking for dead Carneys. I come back. I've got nobody. I didn't know where they brought the dirt. And it's not like I could go around asking, hey, what's the word? Did anyone find any dead guys this tall, kind of a biter? It was a nightmare. But thankfully, blessedly, your stupid pipe burst and saved the day. The skeleton was found, frame job back on, and it's true what they say. Good things happen to good people. Yes, <laughs> this is about my mega park. My much more efficient and profitable than your stupid peer mega park. It'll have gift shops. Oh. So many gift shops. Gift shops. And what? so much parking. And I'll get the best marketers to do the best marketing and indoor motion simulator rides. If you could see my scale models, then you'd understand why Cotton Candy Dan 
had to die. It's gonna be so worth it. Okay. Because business dreams are about business. They're not about dreams. All right then, I think I got it figured out. I think that this is what I need. You're gonna all get in the sub and then I'll launch you in the sea. Oh, that's right. You won't be able to get out. The handle's broken from inside. Then the pier will be on fire. Well, you caused it, then you died. Yeah, what they'll say is this. Metal wheels on metal tracks will cause a spark, a little flare. Whoops, the drapes, they catch on fire and it just gets worse from there. Up it goes into the molehill, which now seems to be quite full of cute and fluffy, very burny, flammable stuffed animals. And then the molehill turns into mole hell. Like what, people on the pier? Gone, I'm closing early, what else? Nope, I made a fuse out of cooking oil, sugar, and balloon string. All things you'd find in an amusement pier. It's gonna go up the stairs, over the roof of this stupid room. And arson investigators will never suspect a thing. My fuse and my brilliant flammable stuffed animals idea gives me just enough time to get back to the gym, which is my alibi. I went there just an hour ago. I said the steam room was too steamy. I made a pretty damn big show. Then I slipped out the window and that's how I got here now. I just sneaked back in through the window and boom, I've been at the gym three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I want to amend my earlier statement. I'm not that evil, but I'm feeling evil today. Ah, don't like that. Okay, in the sub, fish odors first, and don't make this a thing. It's been a stressful day. Come on, in you go. Ugh, I knew it. I tasted baby powder, and I thought to myself, how would baby powder get on a sandwich? And I was like, did they get salt and baby powder mixed up? And I was like, no, you know exactly what happened. They what? sat on your sandwich. Mm. That's just the kind of thing they think is funny. They powder their bums like they're from the 1800s and they pull down their little pants and they sat on your sandwich. I and I hate them. They're immature idiots and I hate them. What the? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I hate this stupid secret club. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yep. 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 Oh, Boy. Yep. Please very much. Does anyone want to talk about that? I'm actually doing really well considering I've never driven down here before in this weird under pier whatever. You're doing really well. Right. Hey, cut it out! Whoa. Faster to get out and walk? Bob, take the ramp! Uh huh, yep. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ah, it's him! He's gonna push us into the hole! Drive right hole! Jane. Jane. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. A bulldozer, a lobster bulldozer, pushing some dirt into a hole. Not onto a family, no, far from it. Just fixing the street like a helpful little lobster. And put that memory in a place you don't think about. Now let's get back to the wharf, launch my cousins into the sea, and we're back on track, baby. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye. Okie dokie, submarine launch, check. All right, fuse. So glad I made a to-do list. Damn it. Oh, good. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Up, da da. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Climbing through the window. Someone move the thing. Uh, I do have three hour gym body. Oh, oh, ah! Bye, front desk person. You were here when I came in three hours ago, weren't you? I remember your uh, shirt. <laughs> you probably remember me too, right? This face? <laughs> You're not looking up. There you go. You remember this ugly mug, right? You have earbuds in. Did you hear anything I said? Oh, you did. Good. Anyway, this is Grover Fish Odor saying good night. I beat you too. Crap. <laughs> Na 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 na